Hello and welcome to our Setting Up Label Cloud how-to videos. In this video, we'll learn about managing your Label Cloud access roles and permissions. So far, we've activated your Label Cloud account and added your first users. Now you can manage your user access roles and permissions to keep your Label Cloud account secure. In this video, you'll learn about the relationships between users, access roles, and role permissions. You'll see how to create new access roles and set new role permissions. You'll also learn how to assign access roles you create to your new and existing users. Each of your Label Cloud users needs at least one access role, and each access role has its own set of permissions. Access roles and permissions help you keep your information accurate and your Label Cloud account secure and compliant with regulations. Start by opening your Label Cloud Control Center. Go to Administration Access Roles to see your default access roles. Assign your users one or more default access roles. Most Label Cloud customers only use default access roles because default role permissions work in most printing environments without additional configuration. You cannot delete default access roles, but you can change their permissions or create new roles as needed. If you need additional help getting started, you can also use our new service provider default access role to invite your nice label partner or sales representative to your Label Cloud account for ongoing support and maintenance. The administration role includes all permissions and is the only role you cannot change at all. You always need at least one user in the administration role, and by default, the administration role goes to the user who activates your Label Cloud account. Click through your Permissions tab to review role permissions for each role, or modify default roles to meet your needs. If you need additional access roles, you can create them from scratch. For example, you may need a new role with limited permissions for your temporary or short-term workers. Today, we'll create an access role for our new intern. First, click Add. Your access role configuration page opens for editing. Under Settings, type your role name and description. Make sure you can easily tell them from other roles to stay organized. Set your role status. We'll keep the toggle active to make your new role available immediately. And note that your default access roles are always active. You can only change the status of roles you create yourself. Now let's set your role permissions. Suppose our intern's job includes designing and printing labels from one folder in our Label Cloud documents. Under Custom Document Permissions, we can assign a specific folder in Documents to our new intern access role containing assignments for him to complete. Find the folder our intern needs and click Customize. New access roles have no folder permissions until you assign them. For security, you can make sure he has access to only the folders he needs to do his work. We'll add storage permissions so he can read, create, update, and delete assignments only in this folder. Under General, let's give our intern access to Nice Label Designer so he can work on label designs, and under Printers, allow him to view print cues to monitor his progress. Now we can assign a user to our new role and click Save. Once you save your changes, be sure to remove your user from previous roles when you do reassigning. Under Administration, go to Users and click a user to edit. Right now, our intern is a member of both Operator and Intern access roles, but we don't need our intern to have all the permissions of an operator. Click the access role, Remove, and then click Save. Now our intern has the role and permissions he needs. You can add new users directly into your new roles when you create them. If we add a second intern as a new user, under Roles, we can select our new intern access role and click Invite. Now our intern can open and print labels in his assigned folder in Nice Label Designer. If he needs different permissions later, we can always go back and edit our access role. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos to learn how NiceLabel helps you do more, faster, with less.